Hi everyone, uh, this is Kev Orkian here. Uh, I just want to say welcome to Arts with Artsakh, uh, which has been organised by the Armenian Institute in London. Now, artists are joining us from all over the world, Armenian and non-Armenian, to share their talents for this great, great charity. Now, the purpose is to support Armenia and Artsakh. So, the money raised will go through to these people directly through Himnadram Hayastan All Armenia Fund. So please, if you've got anything you can donate, click on that link below and do it right now. It's important. It's for our people and we've got to do whatever we can to stick together. In the meantime, I thank you profusely. We've got a great event for you right now. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Enjoy it. Look after yourself. Take care. Bacikner and raise lots of money. Hello friends, this is Lola Kundakchan in New York. I'm happy to be participating in this effort. I'm going to read two pieces, one very old and one very recent. The uh, first one is entitled Gyeong, Life. It's bilingual. And the English translation is a version, not really a translation. Gyeong. I smeg kurzalani ma mech merav ksan hink tarekanin udish mazin vod Yedortma getuima mech nahadag. Ginma shapat yotor gaspasarke. Quido udishin zavaknera gemetsene. Gyanki herosne. Yep tser karkin bitank cheek. Of tser zavaknera gemetsene. Of, of tser maho gula. Life. English version. She dices the onions finely. 
a construction worker, 25, falls to his death. She adds the coriander, cloves, and ginger. A soldier, 21, walks over a roadside bomb. She removes the meatballs from the fridge. A journalist, 43, gets shot through the head. She stirs the sauce over a low fire and adds a few tears to the pot. Some things die sooner rather than later. Nothing like autumn to remind one of memento mori. The pacifist takes herself to the park to escape the news and ignore the world. From this vantage point, she can see the trees well and watches the leaves turning. The sun does not care. It rules life and death above us. The moon, in turn, captivates the oceans and the melancholy of humans. A few bees and monarchs don't mind intrusion. They live their brief life regardless. Humans, the only animals to develop laughter, also kill, maim, and hate. Here, the cardinals and blue jays couldn't care less about the demagogues, wars, or COVID. Here, the laughter of children attempt to go cover global fears. Thank you.
I am Maro from the Women's Support Center in Yerevan, Armenia. We normally work with victims of domestic violence, but everything was put aside, like many, many organizations in Armenia. We prepare packages and food stipends and hygienic products for the refugees. We do whatever we can. We transport uh, uh, materials. We help with the logistics. And I want to point out to the many, many volunteers that there are now in Armenia, and I'm sure throughout the diaspora. Um, they saw... Uh, 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 they saw sleeping bags, they saw uh, raincoats, they prepare food, they transport voluntarily, they do lessons with the children wherever the children are in, uh, in refugee uh, uh, hotels, or they entertain uh, so wounded soldiers in hospital. Everybody is doing something, and this is the solidarity because we are in a state of war. And this is the entire mobilization of and diasporas who are sending so much uh, and monetary support and uh, uh, items. Uh, we just heard about another transportation from Russia, uh, trucks and a plane uh, coming, and everybody's donating and everybody's giving their full support to save the nation, to support our army, and to preserve our Armenianness.
Pundalu, Kuchi, Hota, Hora, Ho, 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 Ho. Irit naga, tusha yega. A photographer snaps life in the Yerevan Opera House. Elite members of the National Philharmonic Orchestra are gathered on stage. A double bass player says she and her colleagues couldn't just stay at home and do nothing. They are sitting around groups of tables cutting up large pieces of scrap into smaller pieces. In the backdrop, instead of a monumental palace in the old kingdom of Egypt or a sunny square in Seville or an ominous cliff in a village in Armenia, large fishnets hang. They will soon be threaded with small pieces of scrap to become sheets of camouflage to be sent to the front line. Downstairs, in the cloakroom, instead of coats and bags, another large fishnet hangs being threaded with pieces of scrap. It's terrible, the double bass player says. We all have friends on the front line we're waiting for. A heavy earthquake shakes the western coast of Turkey. Apartment blocks collapse to the ground in clouds of dust. A flood runs through whatever is left of the city. Across the strait, a Greek island suffers too. Houses and streets are left in ruins. The Prime Minister of Greece extends a hand to the President of Turkey. Whatever our differences, he says, these are times when our people need to stand together. In other news around the world, Belarusians have been protesting against their autocratic president for five months now. Thais have been protesting against their government and monarchy for almost four months now. Poles have been protesting against the latest set of ever more restrictive anti-abortion laws for over a week now. Tanzanians will most likely protest against their president now that he was elected with fraud. The world is craving freedom and democracy. In Stepanakert, shelling continues. A central marketplace and shopping area lie in ruins. Shards of glass, slabs of broken concrete, dangling wires. Every day, similar images flood our news feeds. At night, Azerbaijan showers large swaths of forest around NKR with highly combustible flames. The ecological damage will no doubt be lastingly catastrophic. The number of villages and people sheltering in the forest who will burn alive if they don't make it out in time will no doubt be colossal. A young woman carrying a baby squeezes herself into the back of a bus. An elderly woman wipes away a steady stream of tears with a soaked handkerchief. I don't want to leave, she says in between tears as the bus rattles out of Stepanakert. I want to stay home in my village, she says, but we're told we have to leave. The bus is stacked with large suitcases and bags wherever there isn't a seat. Out of the window, the dust of ruins envelops the city. There isn't a house left standing on this street.
Անդունի, վահան տեկեյան։ Աստված, դվիր շադերուն դունմը հոգ չէ թե վարձու, որուն սեմենը սկսյալ թակավորի բեսենոն, գրնան թնել, վերցնել և հաշիվ չեն դար մարդու, ուր իրենց է առավոդն, իրենցն է ամպող որ ոչ ինչ իմս է, ոչ իսկ այն անգողին, որում մեջ երազել է, սիրել է, կալարվել է վերջ երգար, կմեկնի օրմալ հոգին ճամպորտության իրան վերջ։ Ոչ իսկ բադին վրա անոր ժարակայտներին ստվիր, ծակած, Hello. Deja ya aspirar el perfume de tu cabellera. Llegarme con ella y luego soñar Mientras navego en las aguas de tus lindos ojos Bajo la luz de la luna poderte besar Mientras navego en las aguas de tus lindos ojos Bajo la luz de la luna poderte besar Tengo al pensar que ese día lleno de embeleso a decirme cositas que nunca escuché y en esos labios de grana dejaré un beso como un recuerdo sagrado de cuánto te amé y en esos labios de grana dejaré un beso como un recuerdo sagrado de cuánto te amé Ojos te vieran ajena, 
no sé qué haría mi vida, te juro, no sé. Nunca he sentido en el alma tan terrible pena. Triste será separarse sin saber por qué. Nunca he sentido en el alma tan terrible pena. Triste será separarse sin saber por qué. Dime que nunca por otro dejarás de amarme. No hagas que muera tan pronto esta inmensa pasión. Ven a mis brazos querida, ven por Dios a darme una esperanza que colme toda mi ambición. Ven a mis brazos querida, ven por Dios a darme una esperanza que colme. Hi, I'm Arthur K. Zakian, and I'll be reading a poem I wrote recently. Before I do so, I'd like to thank the Armenian Institute for this fundraiser. As the war for Artsakh rages on, you can help raise money and aid for Artsakh. All you need to do is log on to the Armenian Institute's Facebook page, Arts for Artsakh, to make a donation. If you don't have Facebook, then you can make a donation at armenianinstitute.org. This is a poem titled Stolen Painting 31 Galaxies. I make ghosts sneeze when they hover near paintings. The ectoplasm on their skin turns green. People tend to hoard seashells from abandoned beaches after spending an afternoon with me. We sit on the patio next to a building flocked with pigeons and drink tea darkened with bourbon. I'm kidding. I'm sober now. Ravens are fantastic translators of human speech. After a day with me, the dark stone in my guest's pocket will be the one pulled from my shadow. Now my reflection has a limp. The eye blinks twenty times a minute. My last lover broke up with me. She had blue lips, green teeth. She said, I could taste the filaments of your dream after we kissed. Her doctor reported coloring is due to chemicals in her sleep. Remnants of memories, I suppose. Blood quantum. She said it tastes like salt. Side effects of antidepressants. Tactile hallucinations. Last night, I found a slice of hair in my mouth. I don't belong in this place. The television in my house speaks foreign. We have an illegal satellite on our roof, and yesterday on TV, a demagogue in a dark green uniform stood before a podium and recited a poem. It went like this. I am an empire of sadness. I have not been the man you've wanted me to be. The young Turk inside wants me to drink a cup full of poison. These days, I keep my head down on my veins covered with a long sleeve shirt. I came to you wet and hungry, rose water dripping from my soul. Can you hear the desperation in my joy of living? The sound of a duduk carries enough ecstasy to sadden the trees, blowing sand over the graves of my scratched-out ancestors. This is why I will light houses on fire. I am a flower with a register of exile, ready to exonerate my war dance. I wish they could see us now, clothed in a hundred prayers I meant to send you. The FBI considers stolen art more valuable than a forged signature. My ex says she doesn't recognize my green card. I'm joking. I'm a citizen now. I'm also contagious. Counterfeit writing is the shape of a missing painting, at least in its sadness. I know loss, but my last lover would tell you that a teaspoon of a neutron star weighs six billion tons. She says this without breaking her smile, drawing galaxies on the side of my face.
Եթե ընդանիքի տանտաններեն որև է մեկը անանքիստ է, գամ թշպախտությումը բատահած է իրեն, ամեն ինչ կծիկես եվ իրեն ոգնության գարսնիս չէ, եվ միակ մը բատագը տկրոչըտ, եղբորըտ, մորըտ գամ հորըտ պրգե� բետք է ջիկ չխնայենք, ոգնության հասնելու մեր հավակագան հոր, մեր հայրենիքին։ Հասիկա մահու գենաց հարց է սիրելիներ։ Ես տագավին վստահ չեմ, որ մենք իսկապես գանտրատարնանք կոր եղածին ահավորության, որով ինչ, որ կայլ վիրարնենք, հիմա է, որ վիրարնենք, և անգեծը սելու ամար մեզմ է բահանչված ասվարգանիս դագավին նվազակույն է, պաղտատման պայաստանի և արցախի մեր կույրերուն և եղպայրներուն, որոնք իրենց արյա� Եթե արդեն նվիրածեք, վնաշչունի անգամ եվս նվիրացեք, և կիցած էղեք, որ ձեր նվիրատվությամբ, նվիրատվություն պետ չէ ես եմ իրագանդյան մեջ, որով է դեմ հորդ ոգնության հասնիլը բարդագանություն է 
I'm Olivia Katranjian. Thank you for joining us. As of November 2nd, 71 schools and kindergartens in Artsakh were damaged by Azeri attacks. Over 28,000 children have been deprived of their right to education. I interviewed a 19-year-old law student who is now staying with nine other displaced families in Sevan. Instead of studying, she is taking care of her younger siblings. She told me that her mother and sister went to visit their, her, their father, who is fighting on the border. She said, when my four-year-old sister saw my father, she ran to him and called his name. Instead of stopping her, the policeman standing there, start, standing there started crying. No child should grow up hearing the sound of explosions. No child should know the inside of a bomb shelter. No child should learn vocabulary words like cluster munition and suicide drone. Please donate what you can to help these children who deserve to grow up in peace. Some of the most famous words attributed to the Armenian-American writer, William Saroyan, are, when two Armenians meet anywhere in the world, see if they will not create a new Armenia. The sentiment is powerful, but William Saroyan didn't write that. 
I'd like to read for you what he actually wrote in the final paragraphs of his short story, The Armenian and the Armenian, from his collection, Inhale and Exhale. I should like to see any power of the world destroy this race, this small tribe of unimportant people whose history is ended, whose wars have all been fought and lost, whose structures have crumbled, whose literature is unread, whose music is unheard, whose prayers are no longer uttered. Go ahead, destroy this race. Let us say that it is again 1915. There is war in the world. Destroy Armenia. See if you can do it. Send them from their homes into the desert. Let them have neither bread nor water. Burn their houses and their churches. See if they will not live again. See if they will not laugh again. See if the race will not live again when two of them meet in a beer parlor 20 years after and laugh and speak in their tongue. Go ahead. See if you can do anything about it. See if you can stop them from mocking the big ideas of the world, you sons of bitches. A couple of Armenians talking in the world. Go ahead and try to destroy them. Please enjoy the rest of our program. Hear our musicians play our music. Listen to our writers read their literature. Our culture, our spirit, and our people will thrive. Thank you. Hum, 
hayastan inchu abring o darutyan yergiruning meng hayastan inchu abring o darutyan ay se huise vochayutyan ham pere ho ki sam pere ase huise vochayutyan ham pere ho ki ham pere Hello everyone, I am Sevana Chakarian talking to you from Yerevan, Armenia. Uh, for the past 45 days, um, our group of musicians have been actively working with displaced families from Artsakh, uh, organizing music workshops with kids and teens uh, and playing for the displaced people. So, um, although there are some political games happening above us, uh, let's not forget that we are humans and we are here as humans to help each other out. So I'm urging everyone to be united, to be collected and to keep mobilizing for Artsakh and for the people of Artsakh. Uh, keep on donating. Thank you. Let's be united and let's spread love. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hi, I'm Peter Balakian, and I'm reading to you today from my home in Hamilton, New York, where I live and teach at Colgate University. I'm grateful to Susan Patty and all of you who work at the Armenian Institute in London for this special program, Arts for Artsakh. It's a moment of crisis for Armenia, Artsakh, and for the future of Armenians in our homeland in the Caucasus. Armenians have been a resilient and creative culture, community, nation for more than 2,000 years, and this is indeed a vital time for Armenians worldwide to come together. 
I want to read two poems. The first, entitled In Armenia, 1987. It's from my 2001 book, June Tree. It deals with the aesthetic beauty and the cultural rich, richness of Armenian art and artifacts and architecture over the course of millennia. The second poem, entitled Eggplant, from my forthcoming book, No Sign. It's a poem that deals with survival, cuisine, family, and joy. In Armenia, 1987. Into a basalt cavern I wandered where the moon slid like a water snake in white skin through the gullies to the blonde and furry wheat. I dug toward the damp smell of a water channel, found a shard of a cross, its lacework a system of streams wound into stone. Grapes and pomegranates, pomegranates and grapes, pulpy in my hands. Palmettos sought my palms. A rising moon in the moss-grown stone mirrored the light where winged griffins, those talismans of blood, flew into the arms of Christ. Down a gully like a volute, I found a way to the dry clay of the border where a scimitar cut the horizon. Pegasus flew out of the tufa walls into the white shroud of Ararat and the ringing bells slid into the scree. Down there, I felt my name disappear. Eggplant. I loved the white moon circles and the purple halos on a plate as the salt sweat them. The oil in the pan smoked like bad days in the Syrian desert when a moon stayed all night, when morning was a purple elegy for the last friend seen, when the fog of the riverbank rose like a holy ghost. My mother made those white moons sizzle in some egg wash and salt. Some parsley appeared from the garden and summer evenings came with no memory but the table with white dishes. Shining aubergine, black-skinned beauty, bitter apple. We used our hands.
Dear friends, um, my name is Levon Aronian. I'm a chess grandmaster who's been playing chess for almost 30 years. And I won the Olymp Olympia three times and won the World Cup two times. So I'm here asking you to donate uh, to our country in order to protect our Sakh. Uh, since I was very little, I remember whenever we played uh, in Turkey, and when we won something, we were told uh, during the closing ceremony that Alemania won, meaning that uh, it's Germany, because they couldn't allow themselves to pronounce the name of our country. Right now, we're dealing with uh, terrorism, a terrorism that is sponsored by Turkey. And uh, there are many mercenaries and uh, there are a lot of atrocities they're hitting our churches, they're hitting our uh, hospitals where children are being born in this moment. So this is not a question of uh, war. This is a question of surviving as a nation, surviving as a culture and continuing our fight for uh, life. We're not really asking here to have a one extra car or one extra mobile phone. We're asking for a piece of bread, so, and for our refugees to have basic common things that they need. So I'm very grateful to all of you who are going to make a contribution in ensuring that Armenia and Armenians uh, live a safe life. Thank you very much.